Hello everyone. In this tutorial, today we are going to learn how to design social media post that is for the Instagram. So the dimension that we will be following is 1080 pixel by 1080 pixels. So first of all, we will be starting with the background. So I have picked the square tool from here, rectangle tool. You can uh, use the shift key and drag so it will form a perfect square so i have made the square now pick up the eye dropper tool and simply click click on the selected color so uh, here is the background color so press ctrl c and then ctrl f so it has duplicate another layer over the object so simply i have made another object above it and now select direct selection tool click on this anchor point and simply press delete okay now select the above shape and change the opacity mode to uh, let's say screen okay and reduce down the opacity to 10 so we have just given a bit of reflection for the background okay now I am locking up the layers uh, by with the short of control 2 I have locked the background layers now let's start by making ellipses so first of all I will create the first circle and using the eyedropper tool simply click on this color okay and just drag it to the right a bit again press ctrl C and ctrl F a duplicate object has been created above this circle and just scale it up okay and again by using direct selection tool click on this anchor point and simply press delete okay now keep selecting this object and change the fill to the stroke by swapping it and increase the stroke width to uh, around 7 to 8 points and adjust it accordingly okay now create some more circles give it a fill in the same way create another and make it a fill of the same green color ok in order to align the object that we have created select all press ctrl G for grouping and simply click on this option vertical align center so it will center your object in the middle of the artboard okay now press ctrl shift g and you can ungroup the objects okay now i'm selecting ctrl c and ctrl f and create a smaller circle and just drag it somewhere here and give it a darker shade okay we can give the background colors a bit lighter and so there is a differentiation between the color of the circle and the background layer okay uh, now we can scale it as per our requirement so that every can everything can be adjusted within this artboard just a bit more adjustment required I think this is better okay uh, now I'm creating some more circle control C control F and increase the size of the circle give it some other color or just reduce down the opacity I have reduced the opacity so there is so there is a difference between the background color and the additional circle that we have just created okay uh, bring these layers to the top select these objects and select these objects and the uh, middle circle the smaller one and press ctrl shift right square bracket so it will bring the layers to the top ok now we can add some more design to our social media post by creating another circle and just scale a bit up and we can give the stroke 
of green color from here bring this layer to the top control shift and right square bracket okay let's add some few effect to this circle what we can do we can add some dash line stroking go to window stroke select dash line okay we can adjust the stroke from here the width of the stroke weight of the stroke and you can also do adjustment of gaps and stroke according to our requirement we can do like this we can increase the spacing as well like this so we can do spacing and the weight of the stroke as per our requirements or whatever we like okay now let's add some more circles at the corner and select the object and select white color and remove the stroking okay now pre press alt and just drag the circle and press ctrl d so it will create another duplicate and now press ctrl g after selecting all the circles simply we can select press alt and can drag the circles at the bottom here and just to make sure that our uh, both circles have equal distance from the edge we can select both objects and group them and simply click on vertical align center so it will ensure that both the spacing from both the edges are equal and we can adjust it here okay now it's time to add some text so go to rounded rectangle tool object and simply create a rectangle a rounded rectangle over here and select the color by pressing eye drop dropper tool and simply click on this shape so it will color the object with the green color now put some text inside the box let's say we can write by now and we have selected the font is roboto and used the bold and putting in the middle Make it left align and put the phone number over here. Uh, but we need to add some icons of call or something. So I have already placed in my artboard and I have already told in my earlier videos how to create simple icons. If you have not watched the video, just click on the above link so it will redirect you from here to there so you can easily create icon within no time and in the vector format like this and now we have to put the image in the middle of the circle so just press alt and drag the circle at the bottom and create another uh, duplicate circle of the object i will tell you why now bring the image to the top control shift and right square bracket reduce the opacity so you can fix it in the middle of the circle like this once you have made the adjustment increase the opacity back send the layer to back and by pressing ctrl shift and left square bracket select both and right click and make clipping mask now click on this shape and the middle circle another single click on the middle circle and press vertical align center so your shape is perfectly aligned with the middle center and uh, middle circle and you can simply now ad adjust its size by scaling down or scaling up now the purpose of creating this there was to create some distance or gap between this circle and the image because it seems to be blended into each other and is not giving a good look so we can give a stroking of uh, around three to four points and give it uh, a white color and do the same and 
reduced its size here. And you can increase the stroke width as well. So I guess in a very short duration we have managed to create a very good social media design and you can also give it a try and can do some more experiment with it and do not forget to share your working as well thanks a lot for watching